Sunday at the Lincoln Center Performing Arts Library at 2 o'clock. Roland Hayes, The Legacy of an American Tenor. This book, I would say, we spent about seven years doing research on this book. It took us all over the United States, Africa, London, France, and uh, we got the whole story here. Roland Hayes was a fascinating character a fascinating person, a wonderful first-class artist, and really an, a really inspiring figure. Roland Hayes is really the father of African-American classical concert singers. So we know of Jesse Norman today, and Kathleen Battle, and Leontine Price, and even further back, Marian Anderson. But before all of those divas, there was this African-American man by the name of Roland Hayes, and he opened doors for many of the classical artists today. And in doing this book, my co-author Christopher Brooks and I found out that Roland Hayes was um, quite a character. He had drive like nobody's business, but um, he also had somewhat of a temper. And uh, having a temper wasn't a good thing for an African American man in the uh, early 1900s, the 1920s, but um, an elegant gentleman uh, who dressed beautifully and um, many of the aristocratic ladies of Europe kind of uh, were taken by Roland Hayes. They talked about his, his visage and um, how beautifully he sang. Well, one of the interesting things that we found out was that uh, Roland Hayes had a pretty long affair with a countess uh, from the Habsburg dynasty. And uh, her family was one of the families that um, Mozart worked for. And um, out of this union with this countess, um, there was a child. And that was one of the most surprising things. And this was something that had to really be kept quiet in the United States because uh, it would have ruined his career. I mean, men in the U.S. were lynched for far less than um, having an affair with uh, European royalty. So uh, this was something that uh, my co-author and I discovered for this book, and uh, it kind of shed another light on Roland Hayes. This CD, Robert Sims Sings the Spirituals of Roland Hayes, was a labor of love. The most exciting thing about it was that Roland Hayes' daughter gave me 75 reel-to-reels of private recordings of Roland Hayes. Well, Roland Hayes was singing a cappella spirituals on there, and so this idea came to me, why don't I sing a duet with Roland Hayes? So there's a duet on here, but more exciting than that is that Roland Hayes narrates my CD. And although he has been a hero of mine for years, I never heard his speaking voice. So on these 75 reel to reels, I heard Roland Hayes speak. And I'm using some of his speaking voice on this CD, singing a duet with him, and um, which is wonderful. I've sung with many of my heroes, William Warfield, Odetta, uh, George Shirley, and now I'm singing with Roland Hayes through the marvels of modern technology. The CD is available, Amazon.com, iTunes, you know, all the online stores to buy a CD these days, or robertsims.com. A bit about me. <laughs> well, I grew up in Chicago and always wanted to sing, but 
I had to find my place in music. And I discovered classical singing and trained to be an opera singer and trained in, you know, Italian, German, French. But there was something about African American folk songs, spirituals, that really spoke to me. And I decided to make that my focus. And when I focused in on that, that's really when I started having a career and um, was being called on to do performances um, really all around the United States and, and other places in the world. Swing low.